every time my dogs hear the beep of the video camera, they start barking. So we're just gonna wait them out. Sounds like they're done, okay. Um, I wanted to come on and make this video now because it's what I'm going to be doing now. <laughs> Even though I have no voice, well, it's, it's, I mean, okay, there's a little bit of a voice, but anyway, I'm gonna try to talk kind of quietly. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you what I'm making for my classroom. So every year for about, I want to say like at least six years, maybe longer. But let's just say six years. I made crate seats for them. So you can see the different layers of fabric. I, every year I just get new fabric. And last year I got this great idea, or so it seemed, that I would put a clear vinyl <clears throat> over the top of the fabric and that way the kids could use their seat they could sit on the floor and use it as a whiteboard and they loved it it was great except for when it wasn't and when it wasn't was when um they ripped and that just made me super sad and i understand eight-year-olds um and their desire to pick at something that is coming apart and so what started maybe is a, a tiny rip that big and I could cover with clear packing tape and did became like a gaping hole so anyway did it work out quite like I wanted however this year I'm doing it again because of COVID <laughs> that was my scissors Anyway, I wanted to show you what I ordered from Joann's. This is the fabric. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. My room has lots of um, rainbow stuff in it in black, uh, rainbow against the black. So I thought this was super cute. And even though it has hearts, I hope the boys are fine with that. I don't think anybody wouldn't be, but I don't know. And then this is the second one. And the reason I picked these two fabrics is because well the rainbow but also because they kind of have a linear pattern to them that i thought the kids could once i put the clear fabric on again they could write on so anyway we'll see i don't know that i'm not going to probably even mention the writing on for quite some time um because uh we can't really move around a whole lot so then <clears throat> I also got the vinyl. I ordered all this in the mail from Joann's and I don't remember the um, thickness, but I can look it up. If you're interested in knowing the thickness, just um, comment down below and I will make sure to look up my order. Um, anyway, so those are my fabrics. Last year I just used plain colors um all the colors of the rainbow basically and a few extras well they're all the colors in the rainbow right in the in the uh spectrum and anyway i'm i'm kind of toying with the idea of maybe throwing in a couple solids <clears throat> i know i have some of the colors left um i'll just show you those are just the stack of them that i'm going to work on um but I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm going to cut out my fabric and then I'll jump back on and show you how I do it. Okay, so I have cut out one piece of fabric and one piece of plastic. And I will show you how I am planning to do this. Um, got my crate seat topper. It looks so little in the camera, but they're not really. Okay, I'm just going to lay it over like that. Now, because this is slightly stretchy, I'm not worried about the wrinkles. Um, you could iron it. I'm not that concerned, so I'm not going to. And then I'm going to put the um, plastic on top of that. That is really wrinkly, but once um, it is settled and, and been on there for a little while and kids have sat on it, it won't matter. Okay, so I just center it, then I flip it over, and now I'm going to go get my, well, I have my staple gun. I'm going to go plug it in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so hello. I like to do this um, 
uh, corners first. I'm going to try to concentrate on not stapling my fingers to anything because um, that's a good plan. Anyway, I remember now that I like to fold it under so there's no raw edges on the corners if possible. And then just give it one good staple there. I'm going to pull this back a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Um, I just keep on pulling it tightly so that uh, there's no uh, give on the other side, if that makes any sense. Okay, once I get the two corners, I turn it over, check it, looks fine. Okay, this uh, plastic is really wrinkly though. It will work its way out, I'm just sure. Okay, there, and then I do the last corner, make sure I pull everything nice and taut. That's a fun word. Okay, and then I fold in the other parts. This is like such great angles, hold on. Okay, then I fold in the other parts, like, kind of like um, you would wrap a present. Just fold it like that, and on this end, and kind of get it situated the best I can, and then I just staple. Now, the raw exposed fabric really doesn't matter, but if you don't like that, you could always cover it underneath. I don't know. Um, I kind of feel like the fewer layers the staples have to go to, the better they're going to work. So, now this is a really terrible angle to be stapling at. I normally would not be doing this. I just want to show you this part on video. It's not so bad, but um, it's not so comfy either. I'm just going to kick off the shoes. I don't need those. Okay. Um, also, sitting on a wooden floor is not really comfy. Okay, this, I don't like to have any of the plastic um, like hanging over. I don't know if that makes any sense. I like to make sure that there's nothing um, like, uh, I don't know how to say it except for hanging over. Like everything is smooth, there we go. All right, so now, I do the staples about, I don't know, is that two inches apart? I do go through a ton of staples, but there's that side. Now, I'm just gonna, see, this is what I mean. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Um, see how there's like nothing but plastic there? So I make sure that I fold that under so it has both layers. Because I feel like if I staple through just plastic, it might rip. That's what I was getting at. Okay, so I'm probably going to fast forward through the rest of my stapling so you can see the finished product. handy for when you need to take out staples that misbehaved. I am now ready to continue. Hopefully. Okay. I'll do it on the ground. There we go. out of staples on the last one but of course so 
Make sure you turn off your staple gun before you reload it because staples. It's a bad idea not to. All right, so um, one of these makes uh, maybe three seats. I don't know, something like that. And every time I do this, I have to relearn how to put it in. There we go, just like that. And I got this staple gun at Walmart for under $30, I think. Oh, there's one right there, okay. Okay, and ta-da! Let me, ta-da! Here it is, the finished crate seat. Isn't that pretty? And there are some wrinkles, but I, I don't even think once the kids are sitting on it, they'll notice. Ow, I just took myself out with the crate seat. But anyway, these are something that I really love making. I just kind of have them, I don't know, match whatever theme or colors I have going. One year I had um, duck fabric that was map pattern that was really cool. And then I matched that with the same kind of color background. It was like a light, light gray or brownish gray taupe color and I matched it with um, uh, polka dot. <clears throat> it was just white polka dots on gray background and um, blue background with white stars and that for some reason just I loved that year. It was really cool. I just like to try new things though. I mean I'm not going to teach for probably a hundred more years so I want to do a couple other fun ideas. So this is what it turns out like and again this is the not so attractive back um i will actually put it on a crate later and show you how we pop them off and put them back on and um i think that's probably it so i'm gonna get going and make a few more of these and i will show you my finished work when i'm done i moved off the floor because my knees hurt Everything kind of hurts. So I came into the dining room area and I am going to continue in here. Here we go. All right, so I'm on my next fabric. I'm just going to show you when I'm done because the camera does not want to stay still. Okay, so here is the finished other fabric. I love it. The only thing I wish I had done is made the pattern go this way, so I think I'm gonna try one that way. The kids aren't gonna care, I mean, this way, that way. Anyway, I'm gonna try it, see if I like it better, but that is the other pattern. Okay, this is <laughs> the crate seat with it going the other way, and I think I like it better, so that other one that I just made is a an official extra so I don't know I like it going that way better <laughs> 